I was trying to be like professional and not whoop your ass in front of everybody. That's what I was trying to oh do. My God. But, I mean, I mean I'm we, glad you did that, Andrea. We don't need okay. any violence. I appreciate no, we that. We all know that that would. What the French toast? Get the French toast out of here. You know what, Kayla? See, sh saying sh like that is why I called you out of your fucking name the last time I reacted to y'all asses. I'm like, well, I'm, I really shouldn't be surprised that of all women on the panel, Kayla is defending her. I, I, yeah. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. Before we get started, make sure you please like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. On the road to 10,000 subs, baby. Let's get it. All right, so if you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, oh, I appreciate the love and support. Now, let's go ahead and jump into it. So, today, we are going to be reacting to a clip from the Peef Network. And apparently, there's like some kind of beef going on between Courtney Michelle and this young lady right here named um, Andrea XX. And judging... Knowing how Courtney Michelle is and judging by the looks of her name and seeing how much younger she is, I think I kind of got a feeling of where this already is headed. And I haven't seen any of these clips yet, but um, it has kind of like been popping up on my news feed from other people reacting to it. But I wanted to wait till the clips came out themselves so that way I can give you guys my genuine reaction because just from seeing the women that are on this panel right now it's pretty you might as well say it's pretty much four on two as far as um left versus right and y'all know what i mean when i say left versus right like we're talking mindsets all right so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it no, 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 relax, man, because no, you know, she, she, she don't need to be involved in this, so, man. Come on. This hey, go, go, go. Hey, Corda, ask your question to everybody else, man. My question? I don't yeah, even man. know what it is until this. Okay, yeah, so let me say something. Come on, come on. We good now. We good. So, this is, okay. So, remember earlier when I said that women can be cruel and mean and be feminine and all that extra. This was literally a display of that. At the end of the day, whether she's a dancer or a prostitute, it's cruel and mean to refer to her to that or to speak like that. What? Why? How is it? How is it? Let me finish. It's so weird. Let me finish. It's I didn't interrupt. Y'all really just went back. You are. Let me finish. So now it's now I can't finish. Are, it's I thought we were doing the feminine thing, like you know, waiting for people to finish. Okay, ahead, so, so I, it's, it's unnecessary. It, it, it doesn't make sense. Bruh. And if you're a person that so, so highly esteemed and my relationship with God and all this extra sh you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't talk about another woman like that. You just wouldn't. Oh my God. So <laughs> I just don't understand why, how that is even hard for anyone to see because it's clear as day. This is I just don't I, don't. I don't feel the need, regardless if, if I know she's a prostitute. She tells me I don't feel the need to speak about her like that on a stage or or or. It's are we are we are we literally Can I finish? 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 This is can I finish? It's comical. Can I finish? Go, go ahead. Okay, so let me finish. Go, well, finish. You keep interrupting, though. Well, go, honey. Okay. This is ridiculous. So, at the end of the day, I just feel like people like to pick and choose when they're feminine or when they're the cream of the crop or the person of this and that and all this, whatever. At the end of the day, people that have class and decorum don't do things like that. We were at a professional event. And for the fact that she said she overheard you, meaning you didn't say it to her face, to her face, which means you were talking behind her back. And I don't really see a feminine lady 
acting like that at a professional event. So I don't think that we can, um, when we live in glass houses, I just think we shouldn't throw rocks. We all have like little things that we do that are fucked up and that was fucked up. And we just have to own it. We can't make excuses for it. If that's your profession, no, it's inappropriate. Like, but yes, it's it's people that, you know, I got it. I got it, Lodge. I got it, Lodge. People who think that just because something it, is true, you think that that means it's appropriate for you to say. And that's just not what it is. So, Kayla, it's, you're, it's you're, not. you're, it's you're just definitely, not. you're definitely. So, if a man scammed for a living i can't call him a scammer bruh if a man sold drugs for a living i can't call him a drug dealer how dare you those are bad things those are things that are unflattering what if a guy was i don't know a pickup artist for a living can i not call him a pickup artist that's what he does for a living no to a lot of women that would be considered unflattering you can't make this shit up you can't make this shit up y'all heard it you know what I mean? You know, anybody watching in the comments, y'all let me know if y'all can think any more good examples. Now, I don't know, the scamming and drug dealing, may, you know, that might that might come off as flattering to women because, you know, because of the whole bad boy image thing. But y'all get where I'm trying to go with this. This is the, this is the society that we live in in the West. Anything, especially when it comes to women, bro, anything that's truthful about a woman that puts her in an unflattering light or suppresses her sexuality, is considered inappropriate or misogynistic or sexist or whatever other ex ist animal whatever the phobic whatever the hell bull you can think of this ooh this is ridiculous let's keep it moving definitely want to give us um a list of how to be feminine so i appreciate you doing that for the thank for you the, the team. you you're the epitome sure, of that sure sure of course um however yeah, because you ain't feminine at all. So for you to even sit over here and try to act like that was crazy. And I got a, hey, I got a video I'm going to react to y'all later because Mr. Let Go exposed her. Because she on this love show acting completely different from what y'all see on the panel, man. You want to talk about it. You, she got the nerve to call Courtney a hypocrite. Let's keep it moving. However, Andrea has been on multiple of panels talking about her sexual escapades. It's no secret. What? It's no secret at all. Bruh. We were on a show that she talked about everything that she's done with multiple men. So yeah, when I say yeah. that if I call you your occupation, you're and if you're, you're, if, you're if you're ashamed of what you do, then don't do it. If I was to call you a dancer, Kayla, would you be ashamed of it? If you're calling me a single mom, am I supposed to be ashamed of it? If you say, Courtney, your hair is fake, I'm supposed to be ashamed of it because it's the truth. <laughs> Femininity does not mean that you're going to lie or that you're going to escape about what is true. Your occupation okay. also, your occupation also has to deal with your character. And if you don't respect yourself as your occupation, then I'm not going to go back and forth with you because I know for sure you're not going to respect me. And that's been exhibited on this panel right now. As soon as I got up here, I got made fun of. Girl, you I agree with Courtney a hundred percent because I'm I'm like I'm tired of not being able to just say and just call things what they are, man. It's you you we live in this world where you literally have to walk on eggshells, man. You have to con constantly be conscious about every. No, I take that back. You have to be conscious of women's feelings twenty four seven, while simultaneously have to taste have to take disrespect. And women have no regard for a man's feelings. That's what that that that's the modern woman. That is the modern woman. Crazy, bro. Let's keep it moving. Talking about respecting so, again, and and that's and skin so, skin. So you therefore, got to another thing, Kayla, you're saying this hearsay and stuff where me and Q literally said, I never called that girl a prostitute, but if I was, and if I did, and if she's doing giving me all this energy right now. But she said that well, I said this. And, she if she said that I said this in Atlanta, why she was giving you that if energy. She said, if she said I said this in Atlanta, then she could have said something too. Hey, you talking about me? But no, the energy is of course how it always is on the internet. I if was you trying ever to be like that in person. No, look your ass in front of everybody. That's what I was trying to oh do. My God. But, I mean, I mean I'm people. glad you did that, Andrea. We don't need okay. any violence. I appreciate. No, we that. all know that that would. What the French toast? Get the French toast out of here. You know what, Kayla? See, sh saying sh like that is why I called you out of your name the last time I reacted to y'all asses. 
this is mmm man you know what oh my god there's bro uh, clearly there's more to this because they they ripped off about three four clips of this i'm gonna go ahead and end this here man because that right there ooh, to sit over here and just mm, i'm like well, i'm i really shouldn't be surprised that of all women on the panel kayla is defending her I, I, yeah. are y'all shocked nope you know what i mean to the people i know that are familiar and that have watched watch their channel before i know y'all are not shocked y'all can't be in front of in front of look accused reaction <laughs> she ain't too shocked either oh my goodness man y'all let me know what y'all think about this bro i'm i'm, I'm i think I'm, i think i'm gonna react to the other clips because i can see y'all ready this this was some this was mm, this was a mess i can see it now all right if you're new to the platform please subscribe oh geez i appreciate the love and support make sure y'all hitting the bell notification so that way y'all know what i'm uploading and hit that like button because it helps with the algorithm. Helps me reach a broader audience. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.